The genitive case basically binds two nouns together, indicating possession or a close relationship. In English, you use an apostrophe s for people and the preposition of for things and ideas. I got this from my brother's boss. Here are the photos of my wedding. In German, you also use a genitive s, but only for given and family names, and you add it straight to the end of the noun without an apostrophe. Silvia's Schuhe sind noch im Auto. Das ist Opas Hut. In all other instances, that is the nouns for people, things and ideas, you use, well, you guessed it, the genitive case. Let's have a look at a few examples, and maybe you can work out the endings for yourself. Die erste Seite des Buchs fehlt. The first page of the book is missing. Das ist der Hut meines Bruders. That's the hat of my brother, my brother's hat. Hier sind die Geschenke meiner Schwester. Here are the presents from my sister, my sister's presents. Und das ist das Geschenk meiner Eltern. And this is the present from my parents, my parents' present. Can you see how the endings work? For masculine and neuter nouns, the genitive s crops up again, both as the ending of the determiner and the noun itself. So you get the forms des Buchs meines Bruders. Feminine and plural nouns have an er ending on the determiner, but don't add anything to the noun itself. Meiner Schwester, seiner Eltern. You might ask, but isn't er also the feminine singular ending in the dative? Ich helfe meiner Mutter. Yes, it is indeed. But don't worry, you won't mix up the two forms as they occur in very different contexts. Remember, the dative is used for the indirect object, often replacing English to, whereas the genitive stands between two nouns indicating a close relationship, often replacing English of. Dative. Ich schreibe meiner Mutter. I write to my mother. Genitive. Ich mag die Farbe deiner Hose. I like the color of your trousers. As in English, we can also use a preposition to indicate possession in German, but only in conversational language, where we sometimes substitute the genitive with the preposition von. Von is a preposition always followed by the dative. So, das ist der Hut meines Vaters. Can appear in spoken German as, das ist der Hut von meinem Vater. Maybe German is on the way to doing the same as English and using a preposition instead of the genitive, but this hasn't really been established in correct written German yet. Therefore, we advise you to use the genitive case rather than von plus dative in formal writing. Just one more thing and then we're nearly ready to practice. Can you guess? Well, yes, there are also a few prepositions that are automatically followed by the genitive, just as was the case with the accusative and dative prepositions. There's actually a tendency here too to have them followed by the dative instead of the genitive, particularly in spoken German. But again, stick to the genitive to be correct. The genitive prepositions are anstatt instead of Ihr Bruder kommt anstatt Ihre Schwester. Trotz in spite of Sie fahren trotz des Wetters. Während during Während der Ferien ist die Schule geschlossen. Wegen Because, on account of Wegen des Regens bleiben wir zu Hause. And does the genitive also have its own question word? Yes, of course. And it even has the same genitive S in its center as its English equivalent whose, which has survived the ravages of time as a relic of the genitive in English. For whose, we have the German wessen, We ask, for example, Wessen Schuhe sind das? Whose shoes are these? Wessen Auto ist das? Whose car is that? Ready for a close encounter of the genitive kind, then? Absolutely. So let's practice. The genitive is mostly about possessions, but we don't have to get too materialistic. It can also be about what other people own or simply about close relationships. As always, we'll try to put into practice what we've just explained as theory. And as always, we'll try to bridge the gap between constructing forms and getting them right automatically the way a native speaker does.